Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nonor Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the video effects and how to add them and how to change them or adjust them through the inspector tool within Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, go to our project and go to the time and the clip within our timeline that we want to add the video effect to. Go ahead and select that clip, you, actually you don't really have to select it but what you're gonna need is you're gonna go to this uh, right hand side where it says show and hide the effects browser or you can just hit command 5 it'll also bring it up but simply open that up and then under the video option here we'll have if we select all we will see all of the video effects that are available now you also if you scroll over them it should automatically apply it and you should be able to quickly view them up here in this window up here this is quite helpful before um, you want to actually apply the effect, it's really good to preview it. For example, 50s TV effect right here, it looks like a black and white, and then add noise. Also, we got aged paper, and then we also got Aura. We've got several different kinds here. Final Cut actually provides a great variety of effects. Be sure to take a look, but just for this example, I'm going to use the aged paper effect. All you got to do is just simply drag and drop it onto the clip or a segment of a clip that you want it. For example, if you only you want it on a small piece of clip, um, you, if you know the command tools, you can hit Command B to quickly cut and that will split your clips. For example, let's say you only want the effect to be on this clip. All you gotta do is simply, you can either drag and drop it there or drag and drop it there as well. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind that this effect can be applied to images just the same way as I did right here. And then, uh, so now that we have this small segment here with the edge effect, we're gonna move this <clears throat> line right over it that we can actually see it. And we're gonna go open up the inspector pane right here to the right. If you can hit Command 4 to open up the inspector as well. Now, under the effects, you can go ahead and hit Show and we'll see that we have the aged paper effect here. From here, you can adjust the amount on the aged paper. And also you can adjust just the size of it. For example, if you notice, it's like a circle and that it's expanding. So you can basically crop it in a way if you'd like you if you'd like to. And then also you can go up to the very top here and click this, and you can you can create a create a circle or a space that you want only a portion of the clip, for example, to have uh, the aged effect. And uh, this this is uh, only I'm showing you this only for this effect in particular every single other effect will have different kind of adjustments as well for you to uh, take a look at and that you can use and they will all be under this effects pane now for example if you wanted to shut off the effects completely you can go ahead and just uncheck that box it won't glow anymore and that means it's completely off your video but it's still in the effects but then also you can re-enable it by quickly highlighting that blue box again and it will re-enable the effects but in that thank you guys for watching this tutorial that's it for video effects i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial which will be video i mean audio effects and those will be found just by here scrolling down you can go to hit select all and these are your audio effects as well catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be the proof the proof of your